Many see the slogan Black Lives Matter, or BLM, as a noble plea for equal treatment under the law. It's a cry to secure the rights of life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for everyone. But what does the Black Lives Matter organization actually stand for? To find out, look no further than their leaders. Alicia Garza, Opal Tometi, and Patrice Cullors. Here's Colors in a revealing 2015 interview. We actually do have an ideological frame. Um, myself and Alicia in particular are trained organizers. Um, we uh, are trained Marxists. Visit the Black Lives Matter website and read the list of demands to get a sense of how deep a transformation they seek. One of those demands proclaims, Quote, we disrupt the Western prescribed nuclear family structure requirement by supporting each other as extended families and villages that collectively care for one another. We can't be certain, but it's hard to believe this radical agenda is what most signed up for when they made that hashtag Black Lives Matter social media post, or that every employee, customer, or shareholder at Nike endorses a disruption of the family. Garza first coined the phrase in 2013, the day George Zimmerman was acquitted of murdering Trayvon Martin. Her friend Colors added the hashtag and joined the words so it could travel through social media. Tometi created the digital platform blacklivesmatter.com. According to Robert Stilson of the Capital Research Center, the group became a self-styled global network in 2014 and a fiscally sponsored project of a separate progressive nonprofit in 2016. This evolution has helped embolden an agenda vastly more ambitious than a national defunding of police. The goals of the Black Lives Matter organization go far beyond what most people think. They're hiding in plain sight, there for the world to see, if only we read beyond the slogans and the summaries of the movement they helped to create. It's a distinction with a profound difference. Their radical Marxist agenda is bent on supplanting the basic building blocks of society, the family, replacing it with the state, and destroying the economic system that has lifted more people from poverty than any other. Theirs is a blueprint for misery, not justice. It must be rejected.